Hi, this is a training video on how to mow. Now, in this video, we are going to include how to mow patterns as well as just little tips and tricks in the mowing. I like to um, do what I just call a circular or clockwise uh, pattern, which you will start your left side of your mower on the edge of the curved driveway sidewalks, and you will run a straight line down the edge of the perimeter all the way around clockwise. And then as you come around, you are going to ride the first uh, outer line that you had cut you'll see the you'll see the line and you want to run the wheel from your left side mower deck on that line because you want to keep a nice straight line so you're going to ride the wheel on the the outside edge of the previous cut and you're going to cut again in a clockwise motion um, and you're going to continue that in a clockwise until you have cut the entire yard now that's the the um, pattern that I actually like mostly on the warm season grasses to just keep an overall smooth look. Okay, now if you want a striping pattern, we'll talk about that. That's a little bit different, but just an overall smooth, uniform look. It's just the circular clockwise motion. The reason why I like to go clockwise is because of the way the mower decks are made on most mowers the chute is to the right and so if you turn that mower around and you begin to shoot counterclockwise out you're going to shoot everything out into the road in the outer perimeters now some people depending on the height of the grass if you're going to get lawns where you just show up one time a month or as the person calls you and you have crazy grass growing two feet tall and it's so thick and you start trying to go clockwise and shoot everything to the inside, it's going to clump up. That's going to be crazy. So, I do not actually recommend your goal to be t doing one-time cuts for people. You can refer to my how to estimate um, regular season lawn care and year-round lawn care. Your goal is to get contract customers only. You can make better money. They're better paying customers. You can charge more. But, again, I'm talking to you about what your goal is to get to. So, again, if you're, if you're doing crazy lawns that are super tall and you're cutting off half of the distance, uh, if they're two feet and you're cutting a foot off and you're trying to just get through the grass, uh, your patterns aren't going to look the best as you're doing that at first, okay? So, the first pattern is the clockwise um, circular motion. The second pattern uh, that I like to do is just a, a, a striping square pattern or um, on a rectangular or square uh, shaped yard. You would start again and you would do two passes around in a circular motion on this yard. Um, the reason why I always do two passes clockwise in a circular motion is to get all of the debris that has shot into the grass from the weed eating and the edging. You're going to shred that up, mulch it, shoot it towards the center of the grass. You want to get it away from outside perimeters, from the driveway sidewalks, um, you know, the road areas. You don't want to shoot them in there so when you do your blowing at the end that you come back in and... You've just defeated what you've done and, and just blow some debris back in the grass and then have to run your mower back over it again. So I always recommend two clockwise motion patterns to get the grass towards the inside. Then if you want a really nice uniform striping type look, even if you don't have a striping kit, but just the, the lines back and forth that look really good, um, you're going to want to do it this way. So two two clockwise motions. Then after two passes, you're going to go go down long ways and and 
again, ride the outside of the mower deck to the previous inside uh, cut path. You're going to ride that wheel on that line because you're going to slight that, that extra hang of the mower on the outside of the wheel or the mower deck. You're going to slightly go over your line on the deck, but you want the wheel to ride the line to create that nice uniform look with the wheel. Okay, so you're going to go down, you're going to turn around, you're going to ride the wheel on the opposite side back across the edge of the grass, come back, you're going to go down, cut it back, uh, down again, and come back and continuously do that until the entire yard has been cut. Now some of the yards aren't perfectly square, um, so obviously you'll have to learn with your perimeter cuts after you make the circular motions, you'll continuously go down and back and then some little off pocket areas you'll can you'll go back and forth and you'll learn how to do that so after you have done your clockwise pattern twice you have done your down and back striping look you're gonna go back around the perimeter one or two times again just to make a nice clean uh, cut in case any of those back and forth motions had shot any debris back out towards the edges or the perimeter of the road you're going to then make a um, couple of clockwise motion cuts uh, just to finish off each of those areas. Okay. You also might want to do the striping cut in the opposite direction or sideways rather than down long ways on, a, on the rectangular yards. So you might want to go up and down um, on the on the yard that is uh, you know not the length of, but the width of the yard and so you'll you'll want to create a pattern the same thing mow around two times around the perimeter and up and back just make sure you're riding your lines with the edge wheel of your deck and creating that nice pattern cut okay now some people like to do what is called the checkered pattern and you can make this look really good, especially if you have a striping kit on your mower. But what you will do to create this, um, this checkered pattern effect is you will, one service, you will do the, the striping down and back long ways in the yard. And then the second service, you're going to actually make this cut sideways and backwards on the, the shorter end of the pattern. So back and forth this way. And so each time you do that, then the next service, you go down and back again, the next service. So you're just creating this, this square look. Now some people actually will do this in the same service with their striping kit. I prefer not to do it. I prefer to do it on different services. It just continues to lay the grass down, cuts through it, you're able to get through the service, you're not taking too long to complete these crazy patterns, okay? So that's the checkered look um, in, a, in a square. Then you have the diagonal pattern, which is where you will start out, again, clockwise, two passes around the perimeter of the turf area of the yard, and then once you have created two passes, possibly even three, depending on what is on the outside of the perimeter. Again, you don't want to shoot grass back out into the road. Mulch beds do not shoot your grasses into the mulch beds. That's why you want to keep the pattern or, or the clockwise motion shooting everything in. Then once you have done that, you're going you're gonna to find one corner of the yard. You're going to... Turn the mower facing the other corner of the yard in the middle. This is how you start your first stripe. You start at one core, corner, you look to the end, and you start making your cut. Now you're going to cut this line as straight as possible, down, okay? Then you're going to turn around. Now you're going to turn around after that first cut, and you're going to notice you're going to have some, you know, you're going to have a messed up line. So what you're going to do is you're going to come down, and you're going to try to create that same line. You're going to start to straighten that line out. Okay? Go down, 
turn around look at it, you're going to get better and better as you do this. Still, if the line is not straight, you're going to hang one side to the other. You're going to, you're going to get this line as straight as you can. When you get that line straight, then you're going to pick the left or the right side of that line to start your pattern, okay? Most of the time, I start on the right side where my line, my first line that I run off of the middle line down the diagonal, I will start on the right side so the left uh, mower deck tire is riding that line. So I'll just ride that line all the way down the next end and then I will turn around and I will ride the line back the opposite way with that deck and I will cut that whole side of the yard first in a diagonal pattern. Now make sure as you make your turnarounds at the end of each um, run, make sure as you are turning around the mower that you are shooting the grass towards the inside of the um, turf areas. Again, if you make that run and you turn the mower counterclockwise and start shooting those shavings back out to the outside, then you're not going to be able to mulch and shred up those over and over again. So you actually want to go down, make a clockwise turn to the, to the angle of the next row and come down and make your stripe again. Then we, when you've done that half of the uh, yard, then you're going to want to make a perimeter. I actually do one pass around the perimeter and then I come to the edge of where my first diagonal stripe started and I will get to the other end where my left mower deck is on or the deck wheel is on the other side of that line and then I will come down go back down and back and you're creating a diagonal pattern okay now that's one that I really only do mostly on uh, fescue yards if I have really big yards even if they're not fescue and I just want to make a nice look without a striping kit with my bigger mower I'll make that and it just makes a, a nice looking cut it's not too too patterned out but that's a very nice cut to do now if you want to do the diamond shape checkered look what you would do is you would do that same angled uh, diagonal pattern you would and then the next service you would actually go you would start from the opposite corners and cut a diagonal across your other cut the next service and do it the same way start one corner to next run your line get it nice and straight then go back and find your 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 line with the edge of the deck wheel and start cutting your lines back and forth and uh, do the same step you're just doing it diagonally across the other pattern okay that you had done previously so those are the main patterns that you are going to want to do and you will learn which grass types that you like um, to do what patterns on some customers that are not going to care about stripes they're not going to want stripes they're going to want to just a, a good make my yard look like one big patch of grass that is evenly cut and so that's where you would do the clockwise circular motion with that obviously with no um, striping kit on your deck for those. Now you can use either a push mower or a commercial zero turn lawnmower to do any of these patterns. Okay, so it doesn't matter, especially if you're first starting out and you just have a push mower. The same concept. Most mower deck shoots are towards the right, even on push mowers. Um, if you're not going to bag the grass, and you can do the same exact patterns in that same way. So that is uh, how to mow using lawn patterns. And you're going to have your customers love the way that you cut the grass. And the neighbors are going to come over and they're going to talk to you about what you're doing. And they're going to want you to cut their grass the same way. So make sure that you take note of the grass heights and grass types in that training video that I have and uh, you're on the road to a successful lawn care business.